Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the last video of Little Inferno. Yay! All right, let's see. We needed four items. The four things Sugar Plumps requested. Uh, let's see, that was sunglasses, jar of fireflies, broken magnet, and the exterminator doll. Toy exterminator. All right. You. We'll rush you. And the other two are getting here in enough time that I don't really need to rush them. Uh. All right. Er. I don't really need to set everything else on fire. Whoa. Uh oh. Combo! This can't be good! Now what gets me is, I don't know how Sugar Plumps burned all these things at once, because she more or less made it clear she burned them individually. Okay. Yes? Oh dear. Oh dear, this isn't good. This is very bad. Somehow this has caused our money and stamp collection to go nuts. The walls are rumbling. Maybe this will end well. Yeah, right. In what case does the walls rumbling and everything going all cattywumpus end well? I don't think so. I guess the van can be rocking it will end well, but not the house. If your house is rocking, you're being a little too enthusiastic. Alright, how long is this going to, you know, go on? Um, hello? Okay, I'm bored now. There we go. just the outside view of our house. As it prepares to explode! Man, these little inferno fireplaces are not well designed. And I actually held on to my hug coupon. So I may be able to redeem it for a hug. I don't see us inside. Oh, there we are. Oof. Toddle, 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 toddle along. Look at his little feet go. Isn't that cute? Can I go down this alley? No. I can't go down this alley. So I'm wandering through the snow. Hello? Hey, you. Special delivery. Don't worry, just the friendly neighborhood mailman making rounds. We're all going to be fine. Now, what was your address again? I think my house burned down. Yes, your home address appears to have been recently, oh, delisted. Are you moving? Don't forget to file a change of address form with your local post office. One moment while I find your letter. I know it's here somewhere. How do you know who I am? Oh, well, I've delivered, let's see, 386 packages and letters directly to your house. Each package and letter I placed right there, right beside you. Right beside the fire. You never even had to turn around. Excellent discreet service. On time delivery. Through snow or rain. But mostly snow. It's been getting colder lately, hasn't it? Aha! Here's your letter. I'm going to click through as fast as I can. I'm going to burn it. Thanks for your excellent service. I can't wait to read it. I'm sure it'll keep you warm. Salutations. Sincerely. All the best. Kind regards. Goodbye. We're all going to be fine. So who are you, the propaganda mailman? Ooh, it's so bright. Are you still there? Remember a long time ago, you and me and the wall between us? We threw things in the fire for hours and days. It was so warm. Like a bug in a mug in a hug. We thought we'd never run out of toys. We thought we'd never run out of time. Where
Where did they all go? Haha. <laughs> up, up the chimney like everything else. Oh! There's something I wanted to tell you. She's all grown up now? Did you know? I didn't burn up. The house burned down, and then I left. Just like you. There's a whole world out there. You can go as far as you want. But you can never go back. What? I'm at the beach, getting a great tan. Okay, thanks for the sunglasses. I can't believe how fabulous I look. Smooch, your friend, SP. Alright. Well, I'm glad things turned out well for her. There's carolers out here. Can I talk to them? No. Oh, wait, can I? No, I cannot. They say nothing. Is someone there? Yes, welcome. The gates are secure. You probably shouldn't be outside. Did you used to be a bus driver? Oh, do you recognize my work? Yes, I seem to have made quite a name for myself in the lever operating business. Maybe you've heard. I'll be giving a seminar at the upcoming Future Innovations in Lever Operating Technology Conference. You just stop by. I can introduce you to some excellent networking opportunities. Bring your resume and business cards. The machinery won't operate itself, you know. What's that shadowy building back there? Oh, him. Welcome to Tomorrow Corporation. The future is tomorrow. What does Tomorrow Corporation do? You might recognize such Tomorrow Corporation toys as Fisty's Gem Pop, or My Childhood, the game, or Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace. You look like you might be a fan of one of those three. All covered in soot there. Will you open these scary gates? Can I open these scary gates? My one single job, the only job I was hired to do, the one thing I do better than anyone else, is open those gates. So if you're going to ask, ask again with drama. Will you open the gates so I can go inside, please? And... What? Call that drama? Now think of the drama. This is the moment you pass through the gates. What's in that building? You can find a room that glows as bright as the sun. Or you can find an elevator that only moves up. Or you can find a monster with a heart of gold. Or a fantastic summer internship. Well, whatever it is through those gates, you'll never be able to know to not know again. So, once again, with feeling. Open the gates, operator. Ha ha, nimble fingers, here we go. Stand back. Let's see what happens this time. to go from absolutely no interaction to the end of the game to being almost nothing but talking. I don't really count the letter as interaction because you couldn't write back. The gates look like Jack Skellington. Seriously. Am I the only one seeing Jack Skellington on those fa in those faces? Yes, yes, open the gates. Do you really need four of those things? Eight of them, since there's two on each... Oh, well. And those levers are weird. He keeps pulling the same thing levers over and over again. Why do they make his job so complicated? He walks like Homsar. I love that. Go inside. We're waiting. This is a game. We need things to do. Yes, welcome to Tomorrow Corporation. How may I direct your call? More great information about Coro? About complaints and lawsuits regarding Little Inferno Fireplace? Speak to an operator. I have a complaint. My house burned down. Yes, thank you. Please provide the following. Your home warranty alphanumeric product code. Your 16-digit personal for identification confirmation validation number. Your Little Inferno certificate of authenticity you received with your product. You'll need to fax those materials to the numbers listed on our website. I don't have a fax machine. My house burned down. Yes, I'll wait for your fax. Thank you. I would like to speak some more great information about Tomorrow Corporation. Yes, Tomorrow Corporation. The future is tomorrow. It's also on our website. Please go there. I'd like to speak to an operator. Yes, please hold. Hello. How may I help you today? What's your writing there? Yes, this communication may be recorded for quality or evaluation purposes. It looks like you're using more words than you're writing, or writing more words than you're saying. Yes, I'm writing a novel in the other window, in each brief pause, between each word. Your multitasking skills are excellent. Yes, thank you. What's your novel about? 
My novel is a smoldering work, a mystery, a romance, a forbidden affair, a murder, a heart burns. It's pretty much an autobiography. What's your book called? Yes, my novel is called Smokestacks Over Burnington. A thrilling follow-up to my last ov- uh, novel, The Terrible Secret. What is The Terrible Secret? Peck Chuny Uff. Yes, it is terrible. How may I help you today? Can I go up that elevator? Yes, thank you for your request. The elevator is for authorized tomorrow, corporation employees only. May I use the restroom? Yes, yes, the restroom is just up that elevator. Okay, thanks, bye. Yes, thank you for querying, tom- querying tomorrow, corporation. Remember, the future is tomorrow. And off we go. What's in here? Can't go in here. Can't go in here. Not even going to try going in here. Arrow keys do nothing. I can only move with the mouse. This woman has some enthusiastic boobs, if you can see them from behind her. Oh! Welcome! Oh, it looks so cold out there! Are you? Oh, yes! I'm Miss Nancy! Welcome! Have you enjoyed yourself? You made Little Inferno fireplace? Oh, yes! I built this company! I hope Little Inferno kept you nice and toasty warm! You could say that. My house burned down. Yes! Tomorrow Corporation regrets any inconvenience that may have caused. You look like you could use a hug. Oh, do you remember? I sent you a coupon good for one free hug a long time ago. Did you bring it? Yes, I have the one free hug coupon right here. Oh my, there it is. We haven't printed those in years. Get ready to snuggle up with Miss Nancy. Mm. Ah! Seriously. Ah, I don't want to kiss. Ah! That was not worth hanging on to my hug coupon for. That was disturbing. All right. How long has it been snowing? God, I did not mean to make that noise. Oh! It has been snowing for... It has been snowing for as long as I can remember. And it's been getting colder. Every day, colder than the day before. That can't last forever. Ooh, but it's beautiful, isn't it? What? That can't last forever? Can you see down there? Look as far as you can. Everything you see. The whole city. It's slowing down. And then one day, it will stop. Frozen. Like a family photo. That's horrible. Shouldn't we do something? Ooh! It's nobody's fault. We can't control the weather. If everyone's freezing, why didn't everybody leave? You burned down your house and you left. Where will you go next? You can go as far as you like. But you can't go back. And you can't come with me. What, are you leaving too? Oh yes, I've just finished packing. You're just in time. I've been here too long and I'm not getting any younger. Although I do look fantastic for my age. There was so much more I wanted to do. Where did all the time go? Oh, it's easy to forget. I remember when I wanted to be an astronaut, and explore the cosmos, and compose a symphony, and dive to the bottom of the ocean, and discover lost cities, and build new cities, and become a model. But before you know it... Ooh! Are you going to burn down your house, too? Ooh, haha! What should you do when you've already got everything you've already dreamed? I don't know. What should you do? I don't need to see this again. Dream bigger! Okay, thank you for stopping by. Ooh, it's been a pleasure. It's time. It's time! We. I want to come to... Nope. She's leaving in a rocket. She's leaving in a rocket. Abandoning the freezing planet with all her money. I guess that's how corporations work in real life, too. She even waves. Bye-bye, miserable peon! Bye! Hope you enjoy freezing to death! Well, it's obviously not freezing where Sugar Plums is. Why don't we just go there? Why are we still a small child when Sugar Plums grew up? How long were we sitting in front of that fireplace? I wanted to see the rocket hanger. Aww. I wanted to use the telescope. Aww. Oh well. Walking along. Is there any way to make him run? No. He 
he's moving along at a fairly decent clip, I suppose. Yes. Thank you for querying Tomorrow Corporation. Remember, the future is tomorrow. Well, looks like we're heading out. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I should have done this right before Limbo. That would have been awesome. Just to have this lead into Limbo. Because look at this. Little big head shadow kid walking through the forest. Wouldn't even have to say anything. Just keep, just make the next video Limbo. But no, there's a hap there's a, there's an ending. We should jump. Hey, look! Breaking weather forecast! A clear horizon as far as the eye can see! Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready. Woo-wee! Here we go! Just close your eyes, walk forward, and believe! Really? I just walk off the big scary cliff and believe? Woo-wee! Hey there, kid! <laughs> just kidding! It's all sharp rocks and sharks down there! And yow, that's a long fall! I can take you up, up, out of this city! But then you're on your own! You can go as far as you like, but you'll have to pay as you go. And you can never go back. Are you sure you're ready? Yes, I'm sure I'm ready. Breaking weather forecast. The sun is so big you can almost touch it. This is the beginning of something brilliant. Reporting for the weather balloon. Over the smokestacks. Over the city. Good night. And so we ride off into the sky with the weatherman. It's nice there are some nice people in this bleak, horrible, frozen future. And, does he have a sword? No, it's probably Ace Kane or something. Little Inferno, yes, Little Inferno, yes, Little Inferno, just for me. Okay, Alan Blomquist, what an awesome name. Alan, I have never seen Alan spelled that way. Gabler, man, this company is just full of awesome names. Caramel, Jill Caramel, or Caramel. There's no A in there, so, I mean, there's only one A in there, so it's not Caramel, so it's Caramel. Look at all these translators. What language was this game in originally? There was not that much text in it. Oh, yes, there was. Never mind. Every catalog was full of text. Guy on fire pictogram, window gazing. What are we talking about? Is this the music? I don't even know anymore. Thanks for playing. Those were some incredibly short credits, weren't they? Yay! Little Inferno just for me, and these videos were just for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye And it's back to the title screen. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. I will be back with something new in a bit. Bye-bye.